Hey, we're Dal Life and we're here in the studio in Stockholm with Future Music Mag. Lower the volume and just while that macro button goes down, a reverb goes up on it. It's like, it's not super tight. I mean, we need to know when it when the track hits hard enough anyway. That plug-in, well not plug-in, that, that effect starts to like change and stuff. If we want to change the volume of something, we usually do it like in like with like with a macro instead. If, if the vibe's not right, maybe it's a bad melody. <laughs> yeah. It could be a perfect mix, but the melody sucks. Like yeah. the spaces in between the notes on on the chords, on the melody, on the bass. Like in the up filter thing, I don't think the drop. And then you're gonna start routing stuff. Oh, let's go. It's like a cooking show. And then to it. We often put like a big clap on every like big bar or something to, to enhance like here comes a new part. It's like if you want to have like a really rock, rocky feeling to uh, like a punky rocky feeling to the riff, I tend to find it easier to write it on the guitar. Everybody keeps asking us, what's the thing under this? What's this? What's that? Oh, yay. It's like it, it gets red. Sometimes, but it's nothing. If you're gonna use the sausage fattener for mastering, you need to be really careful about how much of it you use. We can control, the dry sound is still just a sawtooth, but behind it we can have this really long effect chain. The weapon of the loudness war is a, is a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a food item. <laughs>